Good morning, East Jackson. I'm Marcus. And I'm Tyler. And this is East Jackson Action News. Today is Friday, November 10th. Today's lunch choices are pepperoni pizza or grilled chicken sub. That served with corn on the cob, garden salad, and pineapple templates. That's choice one, pepperoni pizza, and choice two, grilled chicken sub. At this time, please... Rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the East Jackson Pledge. We, the Eagles of East Jackson Elementary, pledge respect and help each other, take care of our school, and be responsible for achieving our goals. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Think about your goals and what you'd like to accomplish today. Stay tuned for some special announcements. If you would like to compete in our Science and Pins team, meetings will be held Monday until 4 o'clock. Please be sure you have your signed forms. Read Franny K. Stein, Fantastic Voyage. I was walking around and suddenly remembered it was the alien invasion. Him and Franny ran downstairs turned on the TV and got some snacks. As they were watching, Franny turned around and suddenly realized the Doomsday device was gone, a bomb that could go off any minute. She thought that Igor might have swallowed it, so she ran upstairs with Igor and ran some tests on him. Yep, Igor had swallowed the Doomsday device. So she shrunk herself and went down to her stomach to try to find the Doomsday device. Would it be too late or would he find it in time? Read to find out. Bye! Bye! Hi! Welcome back to Question of the Week. I have all of the answers here to this week, and I'm so happy that everyone submitted because we had to get even a bigger box for this week because there were so many, like, so many people submitted. Um, so thank you all for submitting, and don't be sad if you don't get it um, because there's so many more weeks to come. So uh, I'm just going to get ready to it. is Connor Dickerson and he says red. That is correct.
Hi, Miss Melanie. Why are you all dressed up like you're in the military? Halloween is over. I am not dressing up for Halloween. I am dressing up because I served in the military. And I am going down to the Veterans Day Parade. Veterans Day? We already celebrated that in May. I remember because we got that day off from school. You are talking about Memorial Day. Memorial Day is the fourth Monday in May. On that holiday, we honor American service members who died in service to their country or as a result of getting hurt during battle. Okay, so why do we celebrate Veterans Day? Veterans Day honors all American veterans, whether they are living or dead. Now, it is a way for us to celebrate those men and women who have served in the military during war or peacetime. But when did we start celebrating Veterans Day? In history, World War I was called the Great War. In November 1919, President Wilson proclaimed November 11th as the first commemoration of Armistice Day with the following words. To us in America, the reflection of Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride in the heroism of those who died in the country's service and with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it has freed us and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of the nations. This was done to commemorate the signing of the truce signed between the Allies and Germany. Well, that's pretty cool. I know, right? It was signed on the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. This is where the celebration began called Armistice Day in 1919. This all later changed in 1926 when Congress passed something called a resolution to make the celebration an official holiday. But how did we go from calling it Armistice Day to calling it Veterans Day? This all happened in 1954 when President Dwight Eisenhower officially had the name changed from Armistice Day to Veterans Day. Actually, there is one really cool way it is celebrated. Every year on the 11th hour on the 11th day in November at Arlington Cemetery. It is there where we celebrate and you will see the military color guard at the Tomb of the Unknown representing all branches of the military. Wow, I didn't even know that. I think I want to go to the parade too and celebrate Veterans Day for kids. Second grade teachers and students. Please stay tuned after the morning news to sing along with the first two practice videos for reading night. And if you've already had music this week, don't forget to sing along with the videos shared with you in the Google Drive. Thank you. This concludes today, today's edition of East Jackson Action News. Remember, expect more achievement. Have, Have a great day. day.
one day. or nice Santa Claus is coming to town Here comes Santa Claus Here comes Santa Claus Right down Santa Claus Lane Vixen and Blitzen and all his reindeer are pulling on the ring Bells are Cause I ain't been nothing but bad